Hello guys, I'm going to show you how I configure my Diablo 3 with the Steam controller. As you can see, with this controller I'm going to do all the movements of the of the uh, hero. I will show you in the game. Switch one second to cancel the display. Okay. As you can see, if I move right it start to click with the with the, the left click and if i stop it return so i can now walk like like i control the hero you, come here. it's good also for a, a range hero if you want to cast far a spell so you can cast a, a spell. You can also, if you can see, I do like a round shape with this movement. You can make it uh, a little bit far. So let's return to the the image. Okay, this one is all all with the, with the the joystick. You mo you can move. With this one, uh, the left shift, I bind it to the far click uh, on the top, the left. Uh, it's actually it's hold the position and start to attack when I uh, move to a, a certain direction. When I want to attack to the right, I hold this one and press right. Same with the uh, uh, right click, it's the right click, so it's the same. I'll show you in the game. Um, okay, so I start to move, I see a mob, I hold the position, start to attack. If I want to do the right click, I press the right click. Also, it works with the, 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 all the ability. If I want to uh, teleport to here or to there, I can. Uh, if you need something like this. You can attack from every direction. It's very intuitive to a, a, a regular uh, controller. Uh, let me show you back the... the as you can see, all the ability I banned to here, uh, four clicks, uh, to uh, the left click and the right click ability goes to the up. Uh, this one, uh, the near, the upper one, is go to the tab to the map. This one to the potion. Um, all the errors here. Uh, it's teleport, uh, inventory, uh, left shift, this one left control, uh, this one is escape uh, to to the menu or something like this, sorry. Uh, this is pretty much it, but this one is fully functional mouse. Uh, the mouse... I, sh I will show you. You can you can click on it, so it's make a click, uh, left click, and uh, you can move it. I will show you. Let's say I want to uh, actually I increase the sensitivity now, so it's a bit sensitive. To Let's say I want to uh, move this one to here. It's too much sensitive. I fix it just two seconds. You can see this because it streamed from my uh, from my uh, living room uh, to the. Okay, so now it's a little bit less sensitive. Yeah, but you can you can move anything. You can go here, go there. But actually, go. Uh, it's 
better with the with the controller. Let me show you how our wrist works. So I take the the right. Uh, yeah, let me put on the screen the configuration and uh, do a tiny rift. Um, this one. Okay, so this is the configuration. Uh, let me put this one. It's torment uh, eight, so it's gonna be a little bit hard, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So. Go to the oh, I can hear that. Okay, so now I use only the Cannot be done. As you can see, it's not very, very strong, but Break beneath the endless tide. This uh, game. Right? I don't have enough speed. understand how it works. You, you move, you make the left I 
actually how to uh, I am returning uh, to town how to put my uh, my setup with the controller to your uh, machine uh, okay so let me show you in the windows and uh, not in image okay okay so I am going to search for my uh, uh, setup and uh, let me go to my Google Drive uh, and replace this one. Uh, okay, so you need to go to uh, to download the uh, in the link below. You need to download the the configuration Moa Diablo three. Uh, VDF file and you need to go to uh, your uh, PC where where the Steam is uh, installed I think it's in your uh, machine it's uh, like the default is program files Steam and then you need to go uh, to controller base and then templates and throw uh, as you can see i i use try uh, i tried uh, this uh, this configuration of uh, uh, some dude uh, i didn't like it it's a very very uh, a low uh, build uh, so i create my own so you need to throw this here uh, after you throw this here, uh, when you open the the X button on the on the game, in the game, uh, when you press the string, Steam and then uh, configure control and then press X, you can see the templates there, and then you can find my templates. So uh, uh, good luck there. I I really hope that I can show you the the configuration inside, but uh, uh, no, never mind. I I will upload this video like this. I don't care pretty much. Uh, let me just second uh, show you how to configure. Uh, uh, how to add the you need to do set launch option and minus launch on the file of the Diablo 3 uh, actually here let me let me close the, the game one second um, Uh, okay let me show you on the this configuration you need to uh, you need to okay we have my configuration you can see it right now okay so now you can see it's go like this if you want to change the radius of the circle you can press here um, uh, if you want to change the elliptic of the circle because my it's like this uh, go like this or like this maybe if you want uh, you can change here both of those if you want to change the position of the start the fixed position of the start of the hero it's you can change both of those and uh, the advance you do a left click every time you move a little bit far from the start it start to press left click so this is how it works and um, uh, this one is the the most uh, hard one uh, those are the spells you want to hold to all uh, uh, to repeat uh, those are the, all the menu stuff you need. Uh, this one is the escape. That one is the left uh, control. 
a Q for bottle, tab for map, right and left shift. Left shift is all the attack. So when you hold attack and then you move a little bit to which side you want to attack, you start to, f to uh, uh, attack. And this one is the mouse, uh, uh, mouse, uh, left click on press, and you can see all the configuration here, if you want to, you can copy. This is pretty much it. Uh, uh, the, as, a cons as I said, the launch options you need to launch, and... And let me show you how you put the game into the to the uh, Steam. A quick big picture. Uh, let me open the the. Okay. You do uh, our game at the at the at the non-Steam game. And uh, now you do browse. And then uh, you search for uh, your uh, you search for the location of the D3 uh, game. You take the Diablo 3 exe. You don't take the launcher. If you take the launcher, it's gonna pop up the, the ugly menu. Uh, and then you go to big picture. You go to big picture library, uh, D3 settings, uh, set launch options, minus launch, and then you can play. Pretty much it. Uh, what's happened? Okay. Guys, you can uh, put this game in the, the big computer uh, that you have, you can install only Steam, you don't need uh, uh, something, uh, you don't need the game on the machine on the living room, only the Steam. Oh, let me show you, D3, so it's to the display okay so it starts only you need to do is uh, press the press the uh, your uh, uh, yeah your uh, details and uh, it will start um, okay thank you like and subscribe for more video uh, if you want the gyro uh, to driving, I have also configuration uh, for uh, gyro and driving for my racing games like uh, GTA and uh, and uh, Sonic karting for the living room. Uh, very nice. You you can control the the gamepad uh, by movement, like uh, like a wheel. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.